Once upon a time, in a land filled with magic and wonder, there was a little village called Dragonville. In Dragonville, everyone loved dragons. Big dragons, small dragons, red dragons, blue dragons. They loved them all. But there was one problem. The dragons were wild and didn't know how to behave. One sunny morning, a brave young girl named Lily decided she would learn how to train dragons. She had bright red hair and sparkling green eyes, and she was always curious about everything. She packed her backpack with her favorite snacks and her lucky dragon charm, and set off into the forest where the dragons lived. As she walked deeper into the forest, she heard a rustling in the bushes. Out popped a tiny dragon with shimmering purple scales. It looked at Lily with big, curious eyes. Hello, little dragon, Lily said gently. I'm Lily, and I'm here to learn how to train dragons. Would you like to be my friend? The tiny dragon tilted its head and sniffed at Lily's backpack. She laughed and took out an apple. The dragon happily gobbled it up. Lily decided to name the dragon Spark. Lily and Spark became best friends. They played together every day, and Lily learned that dragons love to play games and eat tasty treats. But she also learned that dragons needed to be taught how to be polite and kind. One day, Lily found a big ancient book in the library called The Dragon Trainer's Guide. It had lots of useful tips. Be patient. Dragons need time to learn new things. Just like people, they need patience and practice. Be kind. Dragons respond to kindness. Treat them with love and care, and they will trust you. Teach with treats. Dragons love treats. Use their favorite snacks to reward them when they do something good. Play together. Dragons love to play. Spend time playing games to build a strong bond. Lily followed the advice in the book. She taught Spark to sit, stay, and even do little tricks. She always made sure to give Spark his favorite treats and lots of praise. Soon, other children in Dragonville saw how well-behaved Spark was and asked Lily to teach them how to train their dragons, too. Lily was happy to help. She organized a dragon training school and taught everyone the tips from the ancient book. Before long, Dragonville was filled with happy, well-trained dragons and joyful children. The dragons were no longer wild and scary, they were friends and protectors of the village. And it was all thanks to Lily, who had the courage and kindness to learn how to train dragons. And so, Lily and Spark lived happily ever after, in a village where dragons and humans lived together in harmony.